Heritage Hill is a living history museum devoted to the preservation of its building and artifacts and the interpretation of the history of Northeast Wisconsin and its people. Our purpose is to provide an educational experience that encourages visitor awareness, understanding, and appreciation of the history of the region. We especially welcome the opportunity to educate school children. Students visiting the park experience Wisconsin history through the centuries. Historic guides challenge students to think about what life was like back in time. They'll understand how people like fur traders, soldiers, craftsmen, and even children lived years ago. The educational programs of Heritage Hill State Historical Park are exciting and engaging and are written according to state and local curriculum standards. Our programs reinforce what you have been teaching through the use of observation and experimental learning activities. This video will acquaint you with the process for booking a tour. We'll also take a look at some helpful guidelines for your visit to make it an enjoyable time for all. Let's start with an overview of the park. Heritage Hill State Historical Park is a 50-acre living history museum in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and is nestled on the banks of the Fox River. Visitors are invited to explore nearly two dozen historic buildings in four distinct areas of the park, each representing a different time period of northeastern Wisconsin's history. Many of our education programs are conducted in these historic buildings. Others are held in our modern education center. Now let's take a look at the process for booking a tour or program. Are you on our mailing list? In August and February of each year, a brochure of educational programs is mailed out to area schools. This brochure contains information on each of our educational programs. Feel free to call Heritage Hill to inquire by phone about booking your tour or program. Call 920-448 5150. You'll be directed to our education coordinator who will assist you through the booking process. You may also email Heritage Hill through our website www.heritagehillgb.org. Our education coordinator will help you pick your program and date, quote you a price, and register your group for the desired program or tour. Did you know that Heritage Hill often has at-risk funds available to help offset the cost of a field trip to the park? Make sure you ask at the time of registration whether your school qualifies. Within a couple of days of registration, you can expect a mailing that will contain your invoice, confirmation notice, and other letters to guide you in your trip. We'll talk about those letters in a moment. You'll have up to two weeks prior to your tour or program to discern the final numbers of who will be attending. Then you can mail in a check or money order to Heritage Hill with the invoice. On the day of your visit, our education coordinator will review with you your final attendance numbers and any remaining fees. You'll also be provided with directions to guide you through your visit. The letters that you receive in the mail are helpful, so please take the time to review them. There is a general welcome letter from the Education Department Manager and a letter for chaperones. It's all in the chaperone letter, but here are some things to remember. Chaperones play an important role in facilitating a smooth and enjoyable visit for students. Because of this responsibility, we request that chaperones do not bring other children in their care. Remember, chaperones are good role models. Showing excitement about the trip and listening attentively to presentations helps set a positive, upbeat tone for the entire field trip. Chaperones know the rules and follow them. Chaperones can assist in managing the behavior of their group. They can help to minimize disruptions during presentations by reminding students to raise their hands and take turns talking. We ask that chaperones turn off cell phones or turn them to silent while in the park. Chaperones play a valuable role in reinforcing good behavior with positive comments. For example, by saying things like, I like the way you listened carefully when our guide was speaking. When you arrive at Heritage Hill on the day of your visit, a greeter will share with your students all the park rules and policies. This will be done while you meet with the education coordinator. Here are some of the rules and policies our greeter will share with your students. Smoking and chewing gum are not permitted in the park. Food and drinks should be left outside of historic buildings. Please don't bring them inside. Be careful around our farm animals. Do not enter pens or pastures. 
please do not feed the animals. They receive a special diet. Handling artifacts in buildings may cause damage to them. Please do not touch items in historic buildings without the approval of a historic guide. Please help keep our park clean by not littering. Use trash cans to dispose of garbage. Ask a lot of questions and enjoy your stay at Heritage Hill. Moving on, another letter you may receive in your confirmation mailing is from our gift shop. With so many students visiting the park at certain times of the year, it often becomes hard for them to get into our gift shop. To alleviate this problem, we include in your mailing pre-order forms that can be completed and sent in with early payment. You just need to pick up the box that contains your class purchases on the day of your visit. There are some other tips that will help your group enjoy their stay at Heritage Hill. Students will be spending a large part of the day outside. We strongly recommend that you watch the weather forecast and encourage them to dress accordingly. Remind them to wear comfortable walking shoes and bring a water bottle if it might be a warm day. If you plan to eat lunch in the park, we have several sites available. We will transport your lunches from the Education Center to your lunch site. To make this process go smoothly, consider using labeled coolers or Rubbermaid totes to store all lunches in. Students may carry their own lunches in their backpacks, but we do not allow backpacks in historic buildings. Hopefully this information was helpful and you feel prepared for your visit to Heritage Hill State Historical Park. We thank you for considering us as a field trip destination and are glad you consider using our educational programs. We look forward to seeing you here. For more information, contact Heritage Hill State Park at 920-448-5150 or at heritagehillgb.org.